Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015. I'm kind of disappointed I can't go in here. I've been trying to, but it won't let me. That and I've been looking at all the different flowers here, but some big things have happened, some big changes. Number one, we have been grinding like crazy. I got $153,000 right now. And we got a couple silos sitting here. Uh, this is a mod that I've been looking for for a while. Finally got it. It's not exactly what I want, but then again, when I read into it, I found out it did more than I wanted. Um, you can see the, the fill indicators, those tubes there. Um, there's actually tubes here, which is kind of cool, but we've got canola and wheat in both of these. Um, I placed him here just because it was the best place I could find that was kind of flat in this uh, map that would actually make this look halfway decent. Otherwise these uh, fill areas here, or I should say the drop off areas were like way up in the air and you would have a hard time getting a trailer onto it so this is just kind of acting as temporary storage for crops right now since we're not over at the other farm. We haven't bought them yet but uh, let me just show you guys quick. Where is it? Um, purchases. P. Actually, we're going to want to go over to mods to placeables. I forgot that I had all these buildings here, but this one right here. And the one thing that this was important right here, chaff can go into it and can be turned into silage. At least that's what I'm told. So, I want to put one at the main farm here. And my hope is is that we can dump silage into it. And i got to figure out a good place for it. Somewhere near where we might be loading here. Let's see. Left and right rotates. I wonder if it wouldn't be possible to stick it like this, even though it's through the fence. It's probably going to look funny. But it basically would allow us to store about 200,000 worth of silage into it. We could just back up to it and fill on it. Well, it let us place it, so let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how bad we did. It definitely sticks out more than I would have liked it, but at the same time, I think everything's accessible. Um, we might have an issue with the fence running straight through an auger and everything. No, I can't turn fast enough. This should still fill, though. I mean, it looks funny but I think it'll work. So the idea is we should be able to put chaff in it, but hmm. I think we'll explore that a little bit later in the episode. For now though, we need to grab this truck and we need to sell some crops and we need to see, I wonder which one it's gonna fill in first. Um, probably if I go to this one, it should fill with wheat. So I'm just going to back up over here. And it just starts uh, filling automatically. At least that's what it was doing in the past. Probably help if I was over the top of the auger. And right there. Yeah. So we'll fill the truck up with wheat. Seems to be filling pretty evenly. Or maybe more to the front, I'm not sure. But uh I'll haul these logs lo logs. I'll haul these loads over. Sell it all at the transport um facility where the train is ship the train out 
see what we end up with and we're gonna meet back at the store because we're gonna make some purchases we're gonna make some upgrades to our farm we're gonna see how far the money goes and then we're gonna play around with them a little bit this might take a little while so I will be right back guys well it's gonna be sad to see it go but at the same time it's time to upgrade so the first thing that's gonna go is the combine and if I did this right it should sell both of them so sell that for 58 sell that for 5 so we have 726,000 to work with not too bad so I think we're gonna go into harvesters and we're gonna get the 9230 and then we're gonna go to the headers and we're gonna get the 45 foot draper and now we got ourselves big boys Whew, that's big I don't know if you remember seeing this one from last series, but, uh, well, this thing will get a lot of work done, which is good, and, uh, we're going to have this one specialized in, um, crops that are drilled in, as they are now, which is canola and wheat and barley and then we're gonna have a separate second combine that's gonna be handling corn because we're gonna start harvesting and growing corn as well at some point but we're gonna have two different areas and we're gonna have it specialized in those areas that way we're not switching back and forth too much now we still got 267,000 to work with which seems like a lot but it's not going to be in a sharp moment here because one thing that we really need to look at doing is actually fertilizing or spraying whichever you want to look at it our crops uh, because we're missing out on a lot and I mean a lot of potential it's trying to see what okay excuse me but I have to get out I don't think I looked at this before what is going on here Oh, it's got a separate hydraulic pump on there. I suppose that's to run to the draper. Because, yeah, it's got a hydraulic hose hook up there. Maybe it's all run by hydraulics, which would be interesting. See, right there's the normal hookup. All right, I'm not sure. Unfold harvester. Ooh. Oh yeah, there goes the pipe. No, we're gonna fold it up. So it is time for it to be traveling on the road. So we should have a lot, and I mean a lot of capacity in this thing. And it should get the job done pretty darn fast. The only problem is, is it's probably not going to work so well on the fields that we have, so we're gonna probably have to start adjusting the fields to work with the big equipment so that they're not getting stuck on all the trees whether we get to cutting down the trees or doing something of the sort um, our canola is almost grown here I don't need my lights on. This thing steers a very large radius. Uh, full tighter. There we go. So now we cut ourselves a very big cutter. And we can get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Look at that. 
Woo. 45 feet worth. And what our previous one was, if we look under mods. So eight and a half meters. And this one is 13.7. So yeah, a significant um, over five meters. So it more than, well, it didn't quite double it, but came darn close. And now if we do this, not X. Um, G to change it and then B. Oh yeah, we need to unfold it. Unfold harvester. There we go. Very cool. Oh, so now we see the hookup. Oh, I see how it is. Let's look. So that runs to there, and then from there they've got lines going up into there as well as a hydraulic pump on this side. I see. I see how it all works now. And yep, this is definitely a draper head because there's no big auger here anymore. Just belts. So, like I said, the other thing we need to look at getting is a sprayer, but we don't want either of these. We want the modded one that I have, which is this one right here. And we have just enough money to buy it. But it does a lot of work in a short amount of time, and it'll actually increase our profits significantly. There we go. So the cool thing about this one and I've noticed this before. So you got road mode here, so it's just two wheel drive. If I un unfold it quick, well I guess it's not quick, but this thing is big. Oh, it's got one more section. Whew. Notice this? Now oh, it's four wheel steer. You can drop it down as low as you want. And. Oh, this changes the row width. That's really cool, actually. Don't remember that being there, but. Let's see here as it unfolds, eventually the four wheel steer will disappear back wheels will stop steering I think it turns off yep there we go so now it's only front wheel steer <laughs> so I'm gonna fill this up it actually cruises along pretty good no, I don't want there we go I want my flashers going and I think we also when our beacon's going. Very cool. I never realized the muffler sat right up on top like that. What does the cab look like in this thing? Oh, it's got the uh, GPS thing. Push button stuff for all the different things. Should probably watch where I'm going. It's got a seat over there. Very cool. Very cool. So, and I might as well show you guys this. Um, technically, if you were... Well, I shouldn't say that. If you're doing this for real, you might spray it this time uh, if you had wheat or barley to kill off some of the weeds before harvest. I don't need these flashing anymore. So that's what we're going to assume is going on. So let's fill it up quick. And luckily, this stuff is pretty cheap. I think it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. And it holds quite a darn bit. So, quite a lot. Oh, 
almost full. Like I said, this will increase production significantly. So as long as we spray all of our fields before we harvest them, we'll get a much bigger crop, which means we're maximizing our yields, we're maximizing the amount of space that we have, maximizing our profit per harvest. Because our next thing that we want to do is probably expand out a little bit. Or, this is a big or, we may want to consider um, oh, I just realized I'm nowhere near as far over as where I need to be. We may want to consider getting into the tree harvesting. So you see here how much space we actually are going to use. So we're going to have to try and spray this decently. You can see it turns everything darker. And it's just based on where you spray. So if you're overhanging it or you're over spraying wherever you are, um, it's actually just going to keep on spraying and it's not going to care. It's going to keep wasting product. It's not like seeding where it only takes away from you when you're going in places that you haven't gone yet. So you kind of have to watch when you're doing this. But I mean with this much range, this much width that you can do in one shot. So like right now, if I do this, it just continues to use it. You gotta get used to how this works too. So you're gonna wanna be up in the air like this, like I am right now. And you're gonna be able to see where you're going, where you've last done it. And it's a lot easier to do it, trust me, a lot easier to do it when there's no crops on there. Um, so you can even do it before you plant, like right after you harvest. But what I would recommend doing is spraying it right after you plant. Because then you won't have any residue, you won't have any um, crops showing on the ground. And you'll be able to see the color change really well. And I think there might be a little bit on the edge here that I'm not getting. But uh, we'll make it work here. So this is all it takes, just a little bit of patience, a little bit of skill, and a little bit of work, and you can get a lot better profits for the acreage that you are running with. You really have to watch out for trees. Oh, now the ground is catching. I think we got the boom all the way up. So it's not like it's something that I can raise up. Actually, from this angle, you can see the color change much better. We're just going to back it up in here. Start going forward, turn it on, and just head up the hill. Yeah, you can see the color change a lot better going this way for some reason. But one more pass here and then we'll do the other field and we'll harvest and uh, we're going to have to see exactly what is going on with that silo so I think I'm going to finish out um, this episode here we'll look at that silo and see if we can actually get some silage out of it because that'll be actually really cool so I'm going to I guess cut it here finish spraying the fields apparently I'm not getting that area right there so I gotta start overlapping a little bit more that's better actually right about there is where I'm done and then uh, cut some hay down so that I can chop it up and uh, see if it'll accept it in that silo so I will be right back Alright guys, time for the moment of truth. Got my first load here, we're going to find out if it'll dump in. We're going to see how easy it is to dump it in too.
Grass is not accepted here. What's it about chaff? Oh, you know what? I wonder. Um, I know it's not going to be as good for the cows, but I got to do something with it. Let me try something here. I know I raked it up, but let me try and tether that. And then rake it up again and see if I can pick it up as chaff. I think that's how that works. But I should be able to feed them straight away with this. Yeah. There we go. Well, let's me at least get this out of here. Actually, that unloading animation is pretty good. Oh, yep, the color changed. Because I dumped a whole bunch of the other stuff in there. I think they'll eat the grass first. So let's see. Yeah, there. There's a bunch of grass in there. So let me read the, run the tether through it. Let's run. Oop, 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 oop. Let's uh, drive properly here. Unload. There's nothing to unload. I think I have the tether in the barn still. But uh, we'll see if this works. Wee. So I just first of all I want to see if I can do it. Let's unfold it quick. I wonder if I can do two rows at a time. Might be able to. Oh yeah, it's grabbing it. Not sure if two rows is a good thing to do because I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss some of it. So actually, let's kick over and let's just do one row. But yeah, I'm going to tether this up, rake it back up, pick it up as chaff because that should be chaff now, I think. I'm not sure. But we'll try it and see what happens. If all else fails, We'll dump this somewhere else, or I don't know. We'll figure something out. Alright, let's try this again. Not exactly sure what it states that it has, but... Uh... Oh, let's hit unload for a moment. Grass is not accepted here. Well, what the heck? It's not grass, it's chaff. Hmm. So maybe it's not going to work out. Well, I'm probably going to leave this sitting in the forage wagon. Because, well... Oh, maybe it's chaff as in, like, chaff from, like, from combining? I don't know. I figure what the heck. We'll, uh, bail up some hay bales here while I'm at it. And, uh, well, we're going to have to see what the next harvest is. But I think with that, I'm just about out of time least for this time so i'll meet you guys next episode next episode well what are we gonna do probably gonna expand what we're gonna expand into i haven't decided yet we're either gonna expand in fields or we're gonna get into forestry just the beginning portions of forestry but either way it's bound to be fun so until next time guys 
take it easy.